everyone welcome back to another lecture of SwiftUI crash course series and in today's video we will be talking about bindings in SwiftUI so you can see on my screen we already have some code written and in the left hand side we have the code and in the right hand side we have the canvas so we have a profile picture with a red border and uh, below it we have a subscribe button so if the user has subscribed to the our channel uh, the border will be shown red and the button title will be subscribed and if he haven't then he will see a, see a gray border with subscribe button so we will click on the subscribe button and you will see the state has changed and once we click again you will see the button has changed to subscribe as well as the border color has changed to red so uh, the code is working fine in the left hand side uh, if we talk about the code we have a state variable uh, is subscribed which holds the value whether the channel is subscribed or not if you are not familiar with state I will request you to go to our previous video in our previous video only we talked about state and it is very much important to learn binding so I will definitely request you to please go and watch that video if you don't know about states all right so inside the B stack we have just two elements one is the image and another one is button which we already discussed there are some uh, modifiers added on the image to make it look better and then there's a button uh, again only some styling on this button to make it look better and then there is a, a subscribe button so when we sorry is subscribed uh, variable once we click on this button we just change the value of this is subscribe button to uh, true or false and based on it uh, the text also changes as well as the foreground color similarly for the border too uh, depending on the is subscribed value true or false the border color changes from red or gray all right so that's the code so you can see the code is working fine and everything looks perfect here but uh, what if we wanted to place this button in a different file when you have let's say a, a big screen so you will always want to refactor your code and uh, divide it into smaller components uh, to make your UI look better as well as uh, sorry to make your code look better here also, uh, let's say our subscribe button is being used at 10 or 15 places inside our app. So it will always be a best practice to uh, write it at one place rather than just copying and pasting this button everywhere in the code. So let's just refactor it and create a separate uh, structure file for it. So I will right click here and click new file. I'll select Swift UI view. And I will name it subscribe button. All right. So our file is created. Now I'll just go to the content view and uh, cut this from here to the body of the subscribe button. And Xcode is throwing us error because it doesn't know what a subscribe is. So I'll go to here and I'll copy this. And now that I have pasted it here, you'll see the errors are gone. Let's just wait for the preview to reload. You can see the code is working fine. And if I click on it, the state is also changing. So this is perfect. That's what we wanted, right? And now in the content view, we can directly use this subscribe button here. And you will see we will get the same layout which we were which we had earlier so here also uh, the state is changing fine but now we have one small issue uh, that is uh, even though our button state is changing our border color is not changing so what could be the reason so the reason is inside the content view uh, like our border color is dependent on the is subscribed state which is inside the content view and our button state is actually dependent on the other state that we have declared inside the subscribe button so they both are dependent actually on different different states so that is the reason even though this value is updating our content view doesn't know because it is dependent on another state which is inside the content view so that is why both of them are not updating like they were updating previously so one is changing but the other one is not updating so how can we solve it so to solve this uh, we will have to make communication between the parent and the child 
So if you are already familiar with iOS or any programming language, then you might suggest us to use protocols or uh, completion handlers, which are indeed a possible solution, but that's not how we do it in Swift UI. It will work, but that's not how we do it in Swift UI. In Swift UI, if you have to achieve this functionality, like if you want to uh, pass some data to the child view and uh, make a communication between the child and the parent, then we can use binding. So to use binding, we just need to remove this at the rate state from here and make this is subscribed variable a binding variable. To make it a binding variable, we will just make it binding. And binding variables do not have a default value. So we will remove this. The code will work fine here, but preview is, is throwing us an error and it wants us to provide the is subscribed value. So here we can use dot constant to initialize the binding value and we'll just say false for now. All right, so now that the errors are gone, let's go back to content view and you'll see the, the content view is also asking for the same uh, parameter. So here, as we have to pass a binding variable, first of all, we will pass a subscribe to it so that we have a same state among both the content view as well as the subscribe button. So when we are passing this state, you can see we are still getting an error which says cannot convert value is subscribed of type bool to expected type binding bool. So because we are saying is subscribed and you will see that is subscribed is actually a boolean and it is actually expecting a binding variable. So to make it a binding variable, we just need to add a dollar in front of it and the error is gone. So now the preview is reloading and we'll see if our code is working fine or not. So now once we click on the subscribe button, you'll see that the border color is also changing as well as the button state. So the code is working fine now and we have successfully implemented binding. So, so to reiterate, whenever we create a binding, whenever we have to establish a communication between the parent and child, we can use binding variable inside the child and uh, this data can be passed from the parent and binding variables do not have a default value and in the preview if you want to pass the binding value then you can use dot constant and inside this you can pass the co uh, constant value and uh, whenever we are passing the binding variable from the parent uh, parent structure we use dollar sign to denote that it is a binding variable all right so i hope you understood the concept of bindings we will be using it more in the upcoming lectures if you have any doubt then just do let me know in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to the video yet please do consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues thank you and i'll see you guys in next video thank you so much